Six situations when you should stay silent. One, when you have nothing to say. It's not necessary for you to contribute something just because you feel like you should. Alternatively, you might agree with what someone else said. Even if it may seem embarrassing, it is usually preferable to remain silent than to speak only for the sake of speaking. When there is nothing else to say, let yourself say so. Be careful what you say since once spoken. Words can only be forgivable, not forgotten. 2. When your opinion is irrelevant. When your opinion is irrelevant, you should not speak up. It's never simple to admit and accept that, but it's critical even if our ego doesn't agree. When you don't know enough about a problem, other people are experts, or your opinion has no impact on others. It's often best to stay silent simply because it's the wisest thing to do. Silence is the best response to someone who does not appreciate your remarks. 3. When your comments will cause harm. You should not speak up. It is because your words are more likely to be heartfelt than productive. Yes, there are times when others need to hear the truth, as painful as it may be, but these instances are more common than we realize. Consider whether the words you say will be constructive or if you are behaving in order to damage the other person. 4. When your judgment is impaired. When you're having problems thinking clearly, it's best to keep your mouth shut. There are numerous possible causes for this, including being exhausted, being intoxicated, or being overwhelmed with rage or worry. It's best to keep your mouth shut in this scenario. If you don't, you might say something you later regret. If you allow your views time to mature and still think the same way, you can talk about it later, but not when you are emotionally or in other ways compromised. 5. When there is insufficient evidence. Indeed, in some cases we are free to hypothesis and speak out even if we lack evidence, yet this is not always the case. When considering something that would most certainly have a significant impact on another person, such as their physical or mental well-being, we should not provide unconfirmed information. In some cases, hearsay is acceptable, but if our hearsay has a potential to influence a major decision, we should refrain from speaking. Assume a person is debating whether to take a potentially beneficial drug. It's better to not bring up a rumor about a friend of a friend who used that medicine and experienced negative effects unless you're convinced it's true. 6. When instructed not to speak, if admitting your opinion is irrelevant is difficult for the ego, being urged to remain silent is even more difficult. You could be asked to take a back seat in some situations, such as at work or in other settings, and this can make us want to speak up. Therefore, it is advisable to resist that urge and instead reflect why are we being asked to remain silent. Listening and learning can also be beneficial in these situations.